Mike Zero Fox X Ray Bravo Ham Radio Diary M Zero FXB just playing around trying to get the UV five R to transmit DTMF automatically. I, I I know it works manually. You know you hold the PTT in uh, and it works. You type the keys and it works and it connects and everything works perfect. Um, so what I've uh, discovered is if you go to uh, settings and then go to DTMF here, you can pre add these numbers. Now it only allows you to put in five digits. Um, uh, so I've been doing that and I send it to the radio. Um, now I've had to change the speed here. I've done it to 250 milliseconds. Otherwise it's just too fast. But uh, I've tried it though and the problem is, although it does, I can, and you'll see in the, ne in the next part of the video, I can make the radio automatically transmit its presets. When I go to use it on All Star, it doesn't it doesn't change things. It doesn't you know it basically doesn't work. Yeah. Now maybe that just that's just on All Star. Maybe on a hot spot or something like that. You know, open spot, whatever. It'll work fine. I haven't tried that. But I just thought I'd do this video and then show you how to um, send DTMF on a UV five R automatically. So uh, seven three, all the best. FXB. We've just been trying to get this um, UV five R to do auto. Um, DTMF. Now I can get it to do the tones and send them out, but it's not actually working when I use it on the node. But I'll show you how I did it anyway. So um, in the first part of this video, you'll see that uh, I went into chirp and I I changed the uh, the preset DTMF command numbers, and you've got I think about a choice of about ten different ones, which you can select in the menu. So if you go to site like, menu, um, it's a bit loud. Go to menu and then. I think it's let's try 17. Now see it says S code and you can go up and down. Sorry. S code. So select menu again and then you can go up and down and choose your S code. Okay? Looks like there's about 15. So I've kept it on number one. So in Chirp I've programmed number one to have a, a DTMF code of 41522 for a hubnet. So anyway, come up come out of that so we confirm that we're going to use S code number one so we exit so then the next thing we do is um, we go to menu number 19 so we go menu uh, 19 now it says here PTT ID off now if we go menu uh, and then go and select it up and down we can get if you can't read it very clearly it says PTTD ID off and we can go BOT or EOT so beginning of transmission or end of transmission or both so if I choose um, end of transmission and then hit menu so now I'll stay on this menu um, get, I'm on the frequency of my uh, of my node that I want to change so if I hold the PTT Oh, I was a bit slow there. Let's see if it will remember it. Now, now you can see that it's it's transmitting what's preset on on number one. Yeah, I've changed the speed, and I'll show you that in the you'll see you'll see that in the in the video part that explains about using chirp to program this bofang. So, but as far as I can see, um, if I manually use DTMF by holding down the this key and then just manually type that works fine but if I use this automated version it doesn't so I don't know what the settings are for All Star and Hubnet maybe there are other parameters that I need to change but I've searched and searched and searched and I can't find it but you can just want you to know that you can preset DTMF tones into the memory of the UV5R, but in the same way, like if you want to preset a memory channel name, like if you look here, I've got names. One, two, zero, two. See the names there. You do, you do have to use chirp to add names. You can add frequencies, but if you want to add a name, you have to use chirp, and it's it's the same if you want to add DTMF um, preset numbers. So yeah, let me know what you think. Seven three M zero FX speed clear.